guys, Dr. Dean Isabelle here, solar powered and energized by the SON. Welcome to Wisdom Wednesday. So you all know I have like an hour's commute to work. Yeah, an hour. People always ask me, how you do that? What do you mean how I do that? I actually enjoy driving. It's relaxing. And plus, guess what? I got three kids, three boys, all under 10, 10, 8, and 6. Y'all know I need my alone time. Anyway, it reminded me of a time when I was driving the, um, to work the other day. I was just remembering back in the day when I was 23 and I work, went on my first road trip by myself, alone. Yes, by myself. Before that, I'd gone on road trips with my parents and my brother and my sister, my brother and myself, my brother, myself and my sister, my brother, myself, and some friends, but I had never gone on one by myself. But I did this time. I hopped in my brand new Toyota 4x4 pickup truck and headed down the road from Tyler, Texas to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. It was about a 20 um, 20 hour journey, yes it was, and I hit the road and I had myself a good time. I had, I sat down before my trip, got my little stuff together, I had my phone card, because it was before cell phones and I needed some way to contact my people on the road, I got my triple A card, because stuff, if stuff happened to me, I could call somebody for some roadside assistance, and I had a little money in my pocket, I had my gas money. I had my road map, <laughs> like you know the maps of the states with the road maps on it. This is y'all don't even know about that, right? This is before MapQuest and um and what's the other thing that people use now? The little directions on the iPhone, whatever. It was way before that, so you had to map out your trip on a map, and I had that. I was ready to go, and I went on my trip. I had myself a good time. Look guys, if you're planning a road trip, make sure to take at least an hour to plan it out well. Because Wisdom understands that road trips can be fun and relaxing and exciting, and they also can end up real bad if you don't plan stuff. Because you need to have know what you're going to eat, how you're going to get your gas, what's going to happen if you run into some problems on the road or cars, because you know cars, stuff happen to them, tires burst, all them kind of things. <laughs> And you just have to have all those stuff planned out so you can have a great time on your road trip because you're going to have a good time on your road trip. <laughs> anyway, get your motor running. Head out on the highway. Born to be wild. <laughs> That's the second week in a row I'm singing for you all. The second week. But, you know. I hope you enjoyed. Then there is stupidness. They are born to be wild and they don't plan nothing. They think it's all kind of fun and good to be out there with no plan on this long haul road trip. Don't be born to be wild like that. It's okay to plan a little bit. Ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> anyway, there you have it guys. Wisdom, stupidness. Choose wisdom. Hey, let me know in the comment section below if you've ever been on a road trip by yourself before. Let me know where you went, how long was it, how did it go, whatever. Let me know in the comment section below, okay? Remember, show me your brightest. Show me your best. Show me the latest guru. God's wisdom lets theirs look like stupidness. If you liked it, like it. If you learned something, subscribe. And if you loved it, share. Bye. See you next week.